every year that I like personally remember someone in my family that I'm close to has died. And so like when I was a freshman, I really wanted to just stop, drop out of school and then just, just be with my family more. My auntie died when I was a freshman and we like missed two, three weeks of school just because of that. Like my auntie is my mom's sister, so my mom, she was really depressed. And then my sophomore year, my uncle died, who is my auntie's husband. So my mom took in my auntie and my uncle's kids. So that was 10 kids in our house. My mom has six kids. But my mom, she wouldn't let me drop out. And then I tried to, I even asked her if I go to job court and she was like, no, oh, okay. But I'm glad that she didn't let me drop out or go to job court because now I'm the valedictorian of my class. So that's pretty, pretty good. Okay, so. Last year I got a job. I work like on average 30 hours a week and I help my mom pay the bills and stuff. So when I come to school, it's like a relief, like something I know how to do. It's like easier to just be myself at school than it is to be myself like at work or at the community. It's me. So my mom, she just recently moved back to Indiana. So I live down in Tennessee by myself right now. And I was living on my own for a few weeks, and then I got some help, and now I live right down the street, so I just walked to school. So instead of waking up at 4 in the morning, I can wake up at 6. It takes a lot, and it takes courage to ask for help. And I've just recently found that courage of asking for help. I don't know. I, I don't know. But I'm able to ask now without being ashamed of asking for help. I mean, it's life. You can't live your life without. You're going to need people eventually. And at, at Stratford alone, I have a whole family of people who I love and care about. Um, like in January, maybe my little brother, he ran away. And the support from Stratford was just good because even then I was like, I'm just going to drop out until he comes back. But I really wasn't going to, I didn't want to continue school until I found him. I learned that you should never give up just because of what you have going on in your personal life. Because if I do graduate college, I'm going to be the first one in my family to graduate college. So I got this full scholarship to Belmont, so I want to go and study social work and minor in Spanish. I think by finishing school and graduating, we'll be able to like move out of the bricks and just have a better life. Because I've seen my mom struggle over years over the years with like very little help. We've been on food stamps almost all of my life, so I just want to be able to go home one day and be like, Mama, go tell the people that we don't need food stamps anymore. Like, we can just go to the store and buy as much food as we need without having to worry about it. I love my family. I don't know what I'd do without them. I think they're what motivate me to do so well in school.